Hi, my name's Julia, and I'm going to show you how to find the resultant vector given the x and y components. So the resultant vector comes from adding two vectors. So this would be my resultant vector. This would be maybe vector A, and this is vector B. Vector A and B break down into x and y components. So b sub y can be broken down into b sine of, call this theta b, theta b, b sub x equals b cosine of theta b. And then we have a similar breakdown for a sub x and a sub y. So a sub x equals a cosine theta a, and a sub y equals a sine theta a, where this is your theta of a. And this is your a sub x, and here's your a sub y. So you use these to get r sub x and r sub y, which would be the components of your resultant vector. So r sub x is a sub x plus b sub x. And r sub y is a sub y plus b sub y. Now to get the magnitude of your resultant, r is just going to be the square root of r sub x squared plus r sub y squared. And then to get the angle, this angle here for r, that theta of the resultant is the arc tangent of r sub y over r sub x. And that's how you get the resultant. Thanks for watching.